Okay, now that we have our animation done and now it's time to make it a video file so the whole world can see what we did, okay? Um, so I'll just play this one more time and I can see that, yes, we've got that. And I can see that the animation that I have is 100 frames long, so just over three seconds. And now what? Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is go up to my render settings. Okay, up here, this icon with a gear next to it, if I click on that, this will open up my render settings. And the first thing I'm gonna do is make sure that my projects folder is set, okay? So it should be set already, but if it's not, I'm gonna go down to project window, or I'm, so, I'm sorry, set project, because I already have a projects folder created. And now I can say it's on the desktop, and I'm gonna go into my snowman and hit set, okay? Now I can see that what it's doing is it's going into that snowman folder that we originally created, and it's gonna go into the images folder, okay? So I'm gonna call this snowman, snowman animation, all one word. I'm not gonna have any spaces or anything. And the image format, I want this to be a JPEG, and I can see here the name of the file is Snowman Animation JPEG. Well, if I rendered it now, it would only have one frame. And this has 100 frames. So down here, I'm going to set this to the last one that I can select here, name underscore number dot ext. So that's name underscore, and then the frame number dot extension. And in this case, our extension is JPEG. And I can see now it's going to go from the first frame to the 10th frame. I want it to go to frame 100. So now I can see from the first frame to frame 100. And I can see that uh, the image size is set to HD 540. Well, if I wanna see what that looks like, I'm gonna go into my viewport and make sure that I turn on my resolution gate. So that's this icon right here. And you can see how it puts this kind of this gray box around my scene. And that indicates, you know, what's going to be in the frame when I render this out. And also, I might have to go here to camera settings and make sure that that's set to um, fill or vertical or over scan. Sometimes that helps to make sure that that all fits into the scene. Okay, so now this is looking good. I can see that everything stays in. And one of the reasons that I want that resolution gate is, for example, I want to make sure that his hat stays in the shot the whole time. Okay, yeah, that looks good. Okay, so I can see that, that everything is looking good. For example, if I was like this, I can see that the hat is still in my view, but it's not in the resolution gate, so it would actually not render. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure that I angle this appropriately. And once again, rewind at the beginning, play this one more time, make sure this all looks good. Okay, excellent, that looks good. So I'm happy with this. Um, I can see that it's gonna go into my snowman folder, into my images, frame one to 100. It's gonna render the perspective camera. And I can see that this says perspective. And it's gonna be 960 pixels by 540 pixels. Okay, that's good. And that's about it. Okay, so now that I'm all done with that, I can close my render settings. There's no really save button on here. I can just close that. And now I'm gonna have to switch to the rendering menu set. And when I click on rendering, I'm gonna go up here to render, and then I'm gonna click on render sequence. But before I do that, I'm just going to kind of move this over here. And I'm going to show you where that's going to be rendering to. So in the snowman folder, under images, that's where all of these files are going to be put. So I'm just going to kind of open that up so we have access to that. And we can kind of see what happens when I hit uh, this render. Um, so on this, I can also open up the render. Um, if I click on this eyeball here, 
It's going to open up this render window for me. And now I'm going to go ahead and go to render, uh, render sequence. And now what it's going to do is it's going to render frame one. And when it's done rendering fra frame one, it's going to save it. And you can see it's already saving it right here. And now it's going to render frame two. And it's going to go through and it's going to render all 100 frames. Okay. And at the end of this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use After Effects and I'm going to put all of these images together in After Effects and then save it as a video file. So it's kind of like making a flipbook. It's saving literally one image at a time. Okay. And if I want to see this, um, I can see I get valuable information here. I can see that it looks like it's rendering maybe three um, three frames per minute, okay? And I'm just gonna kind of check here to see. Um, so I can see that this one started at 3.43 p.m. And I'm gonna see how long it takes to render. Um, so it looks like I'm getting four frames in one minute. And what I like to do is I like to kind of um, test this out and kind of see, like predict how long it's gonna take to render, okay? Um, and if I want to take a look at my render, obviously I can kind of see it here, but I could also do this. I could right click on this and I could say open with, and I could choose F check, okay? And if I do that, it's gonna open up uh, Maya's video player. And if you can't find F check, I'll show you how to find it in a second. But with F check, I can go to open I can go to file and then I can go to open animation and I can select the first frame and I can click open and it's going to show me how much it's done so far and you can start to see that yes I can see the snow is working I can see that everything is working as intended his hat's not blowing off yet because I'm not 30 frames into the render yet uh, so I'll just let this go okay and I can see that I'm 13 frames into the render so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and when I come back, all the images should be rendered. Before I, I pause, I'm actually going to show how to get the F check if you don't see it. So if I go to open with, and if F check is not in your list, you can go to choose another app. And then I'm going to say, hmm, okay, let's pretend I don't see it there. I'm going to click on more apps. And then if I come down here, I'm just going to say, look on this PC. And then in here, I'm going to go to Autodesk. Okay, this is in my program files, Autodesk. And then I'm going to go to Maya 2020 or whatever current version of Maya you're using. And then I'm going to go into the bin folder. And then in here, I should be able to go down and find F check and then click open. Okay, once again, that's just kind of a way to troubleshoot and kind of see your, your render before it's kind of done rendering. So once again, I'll pause the video and come back when it's done. Looks like the rendering is now complete. So if I look down here, I can see that that took um, a little over 15 minutes. And depending on obviously the complexity of your scene, and how much is going on and also the, the quality of the image, it can take a long time to render, okay? So sometimes people let things render overnight or maybe render with multiple computers, but this is just kind of giving us a sense of um, what, that, what that means to render. And you can see what I have here is essentially a flipbook of all different um, files. In the next lesson, I'm gonna show us how to take these files and make it actually a video that, that can be seen.